Guess who's back? Denny Villeneuve is hitting us with the highly anticipated second part of Dune and let me tell you folks, it blew our minds. Seriously, it's unlike anything I've ever seen. And finally, finally 2024 sees magic at the box office and I honestly can't imagine anything else coming close to topping this for the rest of the year. When Dune Part 1 hit the screens, it seemed like everyone was buzzing about it online, comparing it with the likes of Star Wars, although that comparison might have been a little far-stretched. Denny Villeneuve's take on Frank Herbert's epic tale of galactic politics and rebellion shares more similarities with Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy. Like those films, Dune manages to translate a complex literary universe into a captivating cinematic experience that resonates with audiences. So if you are ready for another epic journey into the sands of Arrakis, buckle up and get ready for Dune Part 2. The stellar lineup returns with familiar faces like Timothy Calumet, Rebecca Ferguson, Josh Brolin, Stellan Skarsgård, Dave Batista, Zendaya and Javier Bardem with Florence Pugh, Christopher Walken and Austin Butler being exciting new additions to the cast of Part 2, along with few surprises which you will see for yourself. Before we jump into the no-spoiler review of the eagerly awaited Part 2, let's first scroll down memory lane with a recap of Dune Part 1. The movie takes us on an epic journey to the desert planet of Arrakis, where the spice melange is the most valuable substance in the universe. We meet our protagonist, young Paul Atreides, played by the talented Timothy Calumet, who is thrust into a web of political intrigue as his family consumes control of Arrakis. The Atreides, led by Duke Leto Atreides and supported by his concubine Lady Jessica, face off against the rival house Harkonnen, led by the sinister Baron Vladimir Harkonnen. The ruthless Harkonnens launch a devastating attack on the Atreides stronghold in Arrakis. The assault is a brutal display of power and betrayal, catching the Atreides forces off guard and throwing Paul and his family into chaos. As explosions light up the desert sky and chaos consumes the streets of Arakin, Paul and Lady Jessica are forced to flee for their lives, seeking refuge among the mysterious Fremen of the deep desert. The movie ends with Paul's decision to join the Fremen, determined to carry on his father's legacy of bringing peace to Arrakis. This brings us to Dune Part 2, which is nearly impossible to look away from. Don't even think of watching Part 2 without watching Part 1. Trust me, it's like trying to jump into the middle of a conversation without catching the first half. The story of Part 2 moves fast and the audience is expected to follow along from where the story left off in Part 1. Despite the complexity of the narrative, Villeneuve and co-writer John keep things moving smoothly, ensuring viewers are constantly reminded of the importance of the spice. As Baron Harkonnen consolidates his power, Paul's journey to becoming a messianic figure among the Fremen hinges on his willingness to sacrifice. Tensions escalate as Paul clashes with trusted allies like his mother and mentor Gurney Halleck, played by Josh Brolin, highlighting the generational conflicts at the heart of Dune Part 2. Calumet's portrayal captures Paul's rising frustration as he grapples with his destiny. Meanwhile, Lady Jessica's role evolves significantly, testing the limits of her power as a Bene Gesserit in surreal sequences that add depth to her relationship with Paul. Zendaya's Shani, once confined to dream sequences, emerges as a central figure in Part 2, embodying the struggles of the Fremen as they unite against external threats. As alliances are tested and sacrifices are made, Zendaya's performance brings a breath of fresh air, adding a layer of steely determination to Shani's character. Grounding the story amidst the grandeur of the Dune universe and effortlessly proving why she's one of the standout young movie stars today. The familiar faces from Dune Part 1, including Dave Batista and Stellan Skarsgård, get even more of a chance to dazzle audiences this time round. But personally for me, Josh Brolin steals the show as Gurney Halep. His performance leaves the strongest impression, adding depth to the character that fans won't soon forget. Austin Butler's portrayal of Fred Harkonnen is wild and frightening and truly elevates the movie. Hans Zimmer's music for Dune is nothing short of a masterpiece. With his signature blend of grandeur and emotion, Zimmer's score elevates every scene, immersing viewers deeper into the world of Arrakis. From haunting melodies that capture the desolation of the desert to powerful crescendos that mirror the epic battles unfolding on screen, Zimmer's compositions are a vital element of the film's storytelling. Dune Part 2 showcases some of the cinematographer Greg Fraser's most stunning work to date. And when you combine that with Hans Zimmer's unexpectedly innovative score, you get a cinematic experience that's truly unparalleled. It's a grand spectacle you won't find anywhere else. Denny Villeneuve's direction in Dune is nothing short of extraordinary. With a deft hand, he brings Frank Herbert's integrated universe to life on the big screen, precisely capturing every nuance and detail. Villeneuve's vision is both immersive and captivating, from the sweeping desert landscapes to the intricacies of interstellar politics. He expertly balances spectacle with substance, ensuring every frame serves the story and characters. Dune Part 2 takes the legend of Paul Atreides to new heights, delivering a mystical and captivating journey through the war-torn landscapes of Arrakis. Denis Villeneuve pulls out all the stops, thrusting viewers to immerse themselves in Dune's integrated mythology. Part 2 unfolds as a mesmerizing spectacle with each twist and turn transforming a vast saga into an accessible and dazzling epic.
While the focus on world building occasionally sidelines newer characters, the overall impact of Dune Part 2's immersive storytelling is undeniable. Prepare to be transported to a world where every moment is filled with wonder and danger. Outdoing its predecessor in every which way, Dune Part 2 raises the stakes to astronomical levels. The power struggles are more intense, the world building is more richer, and the visuals are even more breathtaking. It's a level of cinematic grandeur I didn't think was possible. Both Part 1 and Part 2 of Dune are adaptations of the first novel of the Dune novel series. And while Part 1 left us with few mysteries to ponder, Part 2 wraps things up with a lot more clarity. Considering how mind-blowingly awesome Part 2 is, it's hard not to speculate about the potential for more Dune movies in the future. Dune Messiah, the second novel in the Dune novel series, will likely be the next movie and we can expect to see some of our favorite characters continue their journey in the Dune universe. That wraps up our video. I hope you liked our review about Dune Part 2. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and let's give the conversation a like. Also, please consider subscribing if you have watched till now. So many of you watch our channels but don't subscribe. Subscribing is absolutely free for you and greatly supports creators like us. While you are at it, also ring the bell icon so you never miss out on our future videos. You can also follow us on Instagram and X. Thank you for tuning in. Feel free to explore more content from our channel on the next screen. Until next time, have a nice day and take care.